Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today we are going to see what is an open set in a metric space and what is the relation of open set and open balls in a metric space. So moving toward the definition of an open set in a metric space. So here we have a metric space X and D and if we take any subset of this metric space and let's call it M. So this subset M of a metric space X is said to be open if it contains a ball about each of its point. That is, if we take randomly some points in subset M. So if about each of its points we have an open ball like this. So this M is said to be an open set. So the condition is just a requirement of open ball about each of its point. So now moving toward the relation of open set and open ball in a metric space. Every open ball is an open set. So this is the relation of every open ball in a metric space and every open set in a metric space. So now we'll see the proof of this statement of this claim. So heading toward the proof. So we have an open ball in a metric space centered at A and with the radius R and we have to show that this open ball that has a center A and radius R is open set. So we'll use the definition of an open ball that if we take any point X from this open ball then by the definition of open ball the distance of that X with A must be smaller than this R. So and let's call this distance R1. So this distance between X and A is R1 and R1 is less than R. And if we draw another open ball centered at that X with the radius R2 such that R2 is equal to R minus R1. So we have to show that this open ball is completely a subset of this open ball that has a center A. So now we have to show that B X R2 is a subset of B A R and we can show it by taking a point from this open ball and by applying the definition and we'll see that if that point the taken from this ball is also a part of this open ball or not. So let's take a point random point B from this open ball and by definition distance of B and X is smaller than R2. And also, we can write this as, this is one of the property of the metric, the distance of B and A is smaller than the distance of B and X plus the distance of X and A. So, we know the relation of the distance between B and X that is smaller than R2 and we know also the distance of X and A that is R1 and is smaller than R. And we will put here the relation of distances with radius so distance of B and X is smaller than R2 so that's why it is strictly smaller than R2 and the distance of X and A is R1 so that is R1. So we know that R2 is R minus R1 or from this we can also say that if we add R2 and R1 the sum is R. So and now we can write that the distance of B and A is smaller than R. So if the distance of B and A is smaller than R, so this thing implies that B is a part of this open ball, B that has a center A and radius R. So we can write here. So initially B was taken from the open ball that is a center X and radius R2. And now B is a member of open ball that has a center A and radius R. So this thing implies that this open ball is a subset of this open ball. That this open ball is completely a subset of this open ball and be because x was arbitrary and this can be true for any point of this open ball so this satisfies the property of being an open set that every set is open in a metric space if it contains open ball about each of its points so this is true because this was an open ball and the definition of open set is fulfilled here by this open ball so this thing implies that every open ball is an open set and this completes the proof. 
So this is for now. We're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.